Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to use some automation in our project. So what I want to do basically is to use some reverb sand right here in the open track. I want to automate the sand to obtain an effect like this. Okay, so what I can do is simply enable the right automation function, put Cubase in play and modify the sand value. Okay, that is sufficient, so I'm going to disable the right automation. From the contextual menu, I'm going to recall show all used automation. And as you can see here, we have the automation lane for our send in the open track. Now, what I can do is create a new automation point and delete the others. So here we have the automation and this is the result. Okay, it's nice, but right now I want to add as automation a send from the clap track to a new FX channel. So I'm going to create a new FX channel where I'm going to load a delay, mono delay. Let's change the tempo too much let's use a little bit more feedback okay now we can create the automation directly selecting the automation in this case it is a send send number two we want to automate the level so OK, and this is our automation lane. We have to put it in read. So we want the automation to send the clap to the delay right here and only here. So this will be the result. Okay, right now we can create another FX channel with another kind of delay. Always mono delay, but with another timing. Right now I can use fourth, for example, as I want to add another automation to the open. So I'm going to create a new automation lane. I'm going to choose more. It will be ascend to level again. And from the open, I have to create the connection of the send to the FX3. I need to enable it. And so right now, I can create some automation point by clicking over the automation lane. And let's listen to what we have done. have to change timing
okay this is nice so we have three kind of automation and now it's time to move on to the next video